another principle we can talk about here is uh, blending. So to illustrate this better, it's like, let's just say you have a mountain here. Like you have like a mountain here, you have the grass and everything. And here you have some trees, something like this, right? You have some trees. Now you will say that, okay, I want to put a house here. So let's put our house. So we put our house here. And there is a problem with this frame. Only the house has a man-made element. Our first element, let's just say, is nature. And the second one is, let's just say, uh, man-made elements. So the problem with this one is that I don't have anything to blend between these two. It's like there is no correlation between this one and this one. And the reason is I'm just putting the house there and it's just like, it's just there. It's just like nothing here. And how I blend this is just put other man-made elements. I can put some wood here. I can put some other small houses here or other man-made elements here. And now this work together. And you want this for every kind of asset you want to have. In our case, we have like the alien type of thing that we have here. And we also have like the rocky elements. Okay. So we have the alien thing here going on, but we don't have it here. So what we're going to do is to blend these two between the alien one and the rock one. And the way we're going to do it is just putting some assets that are very similar. For example, we can we can try to put this one here. And we can put a smaller one so that we don't we don't have like a something that grabs the attention too much. I can put it here. But actually this one doesn't work. So I'm just I'm just going here and let's just try to guess that this kind of element grow in the here. It's like they put some eggs and I don't know, whatever reason, you can just put them here. You can duplicate this one and put it here like that to have some, some elements here. And we can do the same when we duplicate it and just put it in another place like this, maybe. And now our environment is blending much better. Yeah, you, you see that the start has some elements of the alien things and the end has a lot. So this is very cool. So let's just keep adding more of this. I think I have a very cool one here that we can use. I'm not sure if I already UV this, but if not, we can do it very fast. We can just put this one here and then use the UVs and let's just put the cow material. Actually, I did UV this one. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna click the cow. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is to place it like this. It's like you don't want to come here and you can actually scale it like that. Actually, let's just put it somewhere else. Can we can try to put it here, maybe? Let's just try to scale everything 
uniformly again. And let's just try to put it here. Yeah, just like that. Could work. And we can actually have it here. So one of the problems that you can have when you create an environment is that when you put something that looks really nice and have a very unique shape like this, um, you may find that it's very unique and it's grabbing a lot of attention and you don't want that. So the way to fix this is to repeat the elements. For example, if I'm painting something and let's just say this is my canvas and I have everything is a square and suddenly I have a circle here the circle stands out the most because it has a different shape. But when I put other circles here, it stops having relevance and it's not unique anymore. Like you're not the coolest kid in the school anymore. Just just one guy, same as the other ones. And that, hap that can happen when you place assets like this. So when creating these things, just make sure that when you put them, try to duplicate them. This will also help you help the player to understand that this is not very unique and can not there is not much importance here. So let's let's keep going. Let's just add more alien elements before moving into the next part. Maybe, maybe this one. Here, so let's, let's put it here. 